that forgetful coffee girl. Grab your favorite coffee, sit down, and have a chat with me. Today I'm going to tell you guys a story of, well, me. So my name is Hannah, I'm married to the man of my dreams, and we have a beautiful two-year-old daughter. We live in a home that we don't own, and it's not Instagram worthy, so don't judge me, but it is home. We've lived here for almost two years, and I feel like we're really making it our own. Um, one of my favorite things to do is paint and watch YouTube. I also really enjoy coffee, and that's something that me and my husband are really passionate about. We have traveled all over our state and the neighboring ones to find some of the best coffee houses. I also really like to paint and to read, and luckily I've influenced my daughter to do the same. We, she has to read a book almost every single day when she wakes up, and she has to have one in bed with her when she goes to sleep. We paint almost every single day, and I'm running out of things to do with her pictures. Like I said, one of my favorite pastimes is YouTube. I've watched everyone from Dan and Phil to Cartoon Hangover to Jenna Marbles. But currently the things that I've been watching are Louise Petlin from Sprinkle of Glitter and Tara Henderson. So if you see anything that's similar to any of those, just know that I spend a lot of time watching their videos, so their influences might end up here. So my story. I graduated from high school about three years ago, and I was convinced that I was going to become a civil engineer. From the minute I entered my freshman high school engineering class to the moment that I graduated, I knew that's what I was going to do. So during my junior year of high school, I found the perfect college. It was small, it was practical, it was all hands-on. There was a great community of women who went there who reached out to me and told me that this was the place I needed to go. And honestly, every time I toured it or went to a function there, I loved it. But during my senior year, I got the news that we would be merging with a school that wasn't that great. In fact, a couple years prior had lost their accreditation. So if you don't know what that means, it means that basically you couldn't graduate from there to get a degree. Now, to give them a fair shot, they did get it back and they were up and running again. But still, school number two was not a great institution. And my freshman year of college would be the last year of the Green Hornets. And as we became owls, it just didn't go well. I just realized that my school wasn't what I fell in love with. Some of the professors started changing. I had to start going to classes on two different campuses that on paper were 20 minutes away, but because of traffic were sometimes up to an hour. I really struggled with trying to get some of the business side of things school done, and some of the professors and people just weren't that great. So I was already starting to lose motivation. Then my junior year, I got back together with a boy who I dated all throughout middle school and high school. And we had kind of floated apart, but when we got back together, I knew it was real. And so we started having fun with that. And then I also got a job. And balancing all of that with school was getting kind of hard. And out of nowhere, and literally I mean out of nowhere, a baby popped up and we had our daughter. So I obviously had to take a break from school for a while and dealing with the stresses of becoming a new parent and just trying to go back to school and everything just became to be too much. And finally, in the fall of 2017, I decided to let civil engineering go. After that, I became a little lost. I didn't know what to do. I went down a lot of different rabbit holes trying to figure out what on earth I wanted to do. And finally, just out of passing, my mom said that a friend of a friend's brother was a pharmacist and he was looking for pharmacy techs. And I didn't really know what that was, but for some reason it just piqued my interest. So I looked into it and I found a program for pharmacy techs. And basically they're just the in-between between customers and pharmacists, and it seems like something that I could really do and like I'd really be interested in. And it pays pretty well, so it was definitely an option. So I started looking into schools and doing different things, and that's what I'm into now. I'm becoming a pharmacy a pharmacy tech, and hopefully I'll be full time in, and hopefully I'll be full time in May. 
but it's definitely going to be a struggle trying to find a balance between working full-time, being a mom, and being a wife. It also doesn't help that I've kind of gone a little bit crazy with trying to clean our house. Um, as I mentioned, I have started watching Louise Petland and Tara Henderson, and both of them are kind of cleaning queens. <laughs> they have lots of cleaning videos, and their houses always look perfect. And like I said before, my house is not Instagram worthy. I love it, but there's just not really a way that we can do it because we don't, we don't own the house. We rent it. So what I really want to do is just at least get it as clean as possible. And if you'd seen my house before, you know that that's a big step. <laughs> so right now I'm trying to balance being a mom, being a wife, cleaning our house all the time, and trying to find a full-time job. But also having time to enjoy the things that I love, like watching YouTube, reading books, and painting. So hopefully you guys will be able to come along this journey with me and help me find the balance.